Well, I'm out here again at 4.39 on the Happy Valley Drive spot for the man with two names or is it three? Rosalind and I shelf, uh, Graham and um, our nice boy <laughs> uh, Andy I don't know what Andy's beef is but if you're going to put photographs up on the internet expect a few comments, okay? Get over it! My oh, God! Yeah or we will either come out totally on national TV, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. See the nice coloration on these? Yeah, they've all got little baseball rosettes. I don't know if I'll put them in close. Hopefully it will focus. You can see the remains of their little baseball rosettes there. And you can see the hairy, I don't know if you can see the hairy calyx on there. Oh, it's very slippery here and these are quite golden too on the tops you can see the water pooling on the water on the surface of the water surface of the soil there quite a few in there might get a clearer, oh, clearer look at their base rosettes here. They're covered in sand, as you can see. Whoa, and it's quite slippery too. So, uh, I can make this a reasonably long clip because I can use the Twix, but someone's nobbled my transfer button, so... Um, just shows you what I'm up against. He's a nice... Well, this was it there, and you can see as I go up the plant. Hopefully, it's focusing in, in, in here. Hopefully, Ross is having an orgasm now. <laughs> There's a little uh, baby glandular there. I don't know what's it working on. It's eighth, ninth, tenth leaf. They'll get much bigger in the next month or so. You can see there's a flower there. It's got a slight. Slight pink tinge to it. Oh, here's a bigger one. Ah, oh, here's a one. There you go, got a bonus there, I think. How close can, oops. How close can we get without getting that grass in the way? Anyway, we'll get more of those. Oh, here they, here they are. Oh yeah, they're all over the place. So yeah, as that'll get to like twice that size in another month's time. And, uh, well, see, we go in here and find these albino ones that were here before. If I can find them. I don't know if I can find them very quickly. But they were over here somewhere. Uh, oh, yeah. Smattering of glandulars was here and there. They were all like, oh, 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 oh you wait. Give, them, um, give another month's time. You can see the general graying of the soil, the podzolarization that's taking place here. Oh, and you've got some flowers coming up on the uh, tea tree. Hopefully that's focusing on that. They're very nice flowers, tea trees. Especially when they get the big varieties. And oh god, it's getting slippery. <laughs> There's a whole load of uh, little little plantlets here. I'll just take a run through for you. Have to clean the lens afterwards, I think. But yeah, they're all over the place along the ground here. I think it's just got to be here, I think. <laughs> So have you booked your flight yet, boss? <laughs> I hope you're um, appreciating all the dates I'm putting on here so you can plan your tour when to come through uh, SA. I mean, look at the... Even though we've had a rainy day, you can see the dew on these things, you know. Well, hopefully it's all focusing on there. And some of them, so you've got no basal rosette there on that one. And you've got these other ones here. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Can you see the difference? Oh, no, no, I can notice the difference straight away. See that? Between these ones here and these ones here, you can, it's obvious, you know, uh, they stand out like a sore thumb, well, at least to me anyway. Maybe it's just I've just had, and you look at the basal rosette, it's totally green. So there you go Ross, you got yourself a bonus, 
Okay, and oh, look at the water there, there's a bit of a seep over there. And we go through here. Oh, it's getting quite slippery and somewhat boggy. Of course, I've just got cro I've just got the normal Crocs on, so it's pretty precarious. But uh, yeah, you can see the water flows down there. Oh yeah, and you can see the. Uh, I know you can see over there. Yeah. Anyway, I think we'll just have a quick look up, see if there's any uh, more glandulars up there near where the caterpillar. Whoa! <laughs> I went for a slide there. There you go, Ross. Making the air effort. Whoa! Oh God, I'm aquaplaning now. I'm aquaplaning. I've got to get out of this. Hang on. I've got to kick in my uh, WA skills for uh, walking through quicksand now. <laughs> there we go. You can see it just slowly seeping across the surface there. Can you see that? Take you in. And there's some sort of bubbling from some sort of algal moss developing there. Anyway. I'll see if I can uh, walk you up here before the card runs out. Just knowing my luck, I've probably got other movies on here too that I haven't uploaded yet. And the car will run out. You can see a bit of, uh, this is real, reg real regolith here. Real regolith coming through there. Hard as rock. And uh, so it's a bit like a granite apron in WA, sort of in a way. Oh yeah, we got one there. Oh yeah, glandulars. Oh, they're getting quite big. You wait. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, but they've been washed out a bit, so they're not going. Oh, that's a colourful. Is it all colourful one there? Whoops. Colourful one there. Another colourful one there. So, uh, oh yeah, you can see them starting to. Uh, oh yeah, and they're starting to uh, starting to colour up, and some of them are starting to produce flower stalks already. It's a bit early. There you go. A few more up here. Yes, Ross. I do all the extras. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there'll be a lot more as we go into the season. So I'll stop here and go to somewhere else now.